Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing the demo for Bramble the Mountain King. This is a brand new game based on European folklore, and it's very much in the vein of stuff like Little Nightmares and Limbo and Inside and games of that sort. I really love these types of games, and I'm excited to try this on the channel today. So, without further ado, guys, we're going to dive into this game, and if you do like what you see in this demo, let me know in the comments, and I can cover the full game when it comes out in 2023. With all that said, let's dive into a new game and get started. We've got a mysterious princess. It looks kind of like a Disney princess, doesn't it? Like uh, the girl from Tangled a little bit. Oh, and it looks like we're playing as a little boy now and he's in the fist of a, a giant. It's kind of creepy. I wonder if this is like the very beginning of the game or if this takes place a little ways into it. Like is this the end of a boss encounter or is this just where the game begins? Because you got to wonder what that giant's all about, right? It's like a giant goblin. Oh wow, we're already controlling it as well. Look at this. The visuals are really good. Kind of pretty, you know, we've got loads of spores everywhere though. Probably shouldn't breathe those in. Looks like they're coming off those mushrooms, doesn't it? Just making our way through this forest glade. We've got moss everywhere. It's actually way more impressive than I expected. Jump, okay. Can I jump again? Yep, and we climb over this little hill here. Slide down. Wow, it reminds me of Pikmin a little bit. If you guys ever played Pikmin on the uh, GameCube or the Switch, it's kind of like that. Wait, what's that in the distance? Giant deers. So are we like a little Tom Thumb type guy? It feels like it, like we're like a little borrower or something. You guys ever seen that movie Arietti? It feels a bit like that, doesn't it? Got some little sparrows down here. Hopefully they won't try and eat us. <laughs> hey there, little fellas. Aw, look at them. Little butterflies. We got a hedgehog. No way. I'm going to go and check that hedgehog out. Hopefully you won't mistake us for a worm and try and eat us or something. Look at this little guy. Hello. Aw. Look at a little gnome riding it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we actually get to ride the, um, we get to ride the hedgehog. Do we get to fish? I'm just going to wade into the water and see what happens. Oh, look, we can go fishing. We've got a little worm on a hook. We're probably looking for the perfect spot to go fishing, right? Maybe over here on this bank, cast off, see what we can catch. Although I feel like fish are going to be too big for this guy to reel in, you know? <laughs> Just a little minnow or something would be way too much for him to uh, to reel in. Doesn't seem like we can go fishing there yet. I'm sure the game will tell us when we can actually, like, go fishing, but at the moment it hasn't given me any clues. It seems like he's setting off just to gather some food though, right, for his little house. Nice, okay, so we've made it to the other side. We've let the gnome go, he's just run off. I guess we just dismount. And keep going into the forest. I thought we'd get to go fishing then. Maybe you can, but it didn't give me any controls, so... I didn't know, you know, how we go fishing. I pressed all the different buttons, it didn't seem to do anything. The gnome's like, over here, over here, let's bask in the morning sun. At the moment, this does not feel like a horror game, but I have been assured that it is definitely a horror game. <laughs> I guess it starts kind of nice and peaceful like this, and then we kind of see what happens thereafter. I also want to know if we can like run or anything. Yeah, we can. Oh, look at that little thing. Little dandelion gnomes. What is this? It's like another rock creature. Hello? Can I, uh, can I wake you up? Maybe I have to chase one over here so that it wakes this thing up. 
it'll make it sneeze or something, you know? Yep, there we go. Hello, please don't crush me. Ah, they're friendly. It's gonna help us. Okay, climb into the hand. There we go. Thanks. I appreciate the help. Appreciate the assist there. And there's our little gnome friend again. He's like, over there. There's the like grand old gnome there. The wise old gnome. Aww. This little kid's really happy. He's just like, I'm living my best life right now. Okay, so I think we have to try and find a way up to the gnome up top there. So I'm going to try and make my way over to the bank over here. I can't believe how good the visuals are. Like, the water looks really realistic and stuff. We've got a little duckweed in there. Here's the tree that we want to try and climb across. Here we go. That's right, put those arms out, steady yourself, you don't want to drop off. We made it! That must be his daddy. He's like, hey, Papa. Aww. This game keeps making me go, ah, because it's just adorable. Oh, nope, something bad's happening now. Wait, what's happened? Is he possessed? It feels a bit witchy, doesn't it? A bit of witchcraft at play here. Oh no. Wow, we're really sliding down here into the depths of a forest. Whoa! And into the roots of this tree, it seems. Now it feels more horror-based. We've got darkness. Left trigger. Ah, there we go. I didn't know which left trigger it meant. So this lights our way. It's like a glowing rock. And we just got to navigate this cave now, it seems. Jump. There we go. Oh, okay. It's already collapsing. Which way? Which way? I'm going this way. It feels the right way, you know, with all those rocks falling the other way. Oh, what the heck is going on here? We've got a cage. Can we jump to the cage? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, this is very Little Nightmares-y. Now I guess we have to try and, like, jump to the moss there. Ooh, we made it. That was close. That was very close. Do we go up here? There's a way down there as well. I guess maybe... Oh, yeah, look. X, we push this. Ugh, there's like a little creature in there. Okay, that's... That's moving now. I think it's going to sway back this way. I can hear something kind of moaning as well down here. Oh, we made it. Okay, good. Now where to? <gasps> there's a walkway. Ah! Man, this is so dicey. Like, you don't get a lot of time to react to this. And the jumps are very, very sort of uh, narrow. Every jump is a close call. Okay, we've got to make our way across this. A bat. That's fine, as long as it's not a blood-sucking vampire bat. Man, I can hear someone moaning. Look at all those bats up there as well. Waiting in the wings. Get it? It's a little pun there for you guys. I know you enjoy your puns sometimes. Oh. Oh, look, we're going down now. There's another cage there. Jump. Oh, all right. That was close. Wait, what the heck? Guys, I don't know what we do. Oh, we were meant to jump. Okay, my bad. Okay, so the, the timing of that jump has to be just right. It seems like maybe I need to jump off this a little sooner. So that that can come down a bit quicker, right? 
So maybe jump now? Oh. Oh. Or maybe stay in the middle. Yeah, stay in the middle. So that it doesn't sway and wait for the cage to come down. It's got a skeleton in that cage as well. Okay, this makes more sense. And now we can jump across to this. Keep going. Oh man, where are we going? I think we're going this way. That was incredibly close. I actually thought I'd failed that then. So now we want to rock this one. So it moves a bit closer to here. And there we go. And then we just need to jump to the bank over here. Get ready. Get ready. Go. Yes, we made it. Good job. Good job, everyone. Alright, now we've got some cages over here. I preferred it above ground when we were riding a little hedgehog around and saying hello to the gnomes. Now we've got to kind of just make our way through this hell. Okay, that cage is going up, so we've got to jump to it quick. And go. Oh, there's somebody there. There is someone there, guys. Oh, no, there's someone in the cage. Damn. All right, I'm going to go. I'm just moving. I'm going to ignore that. Sorry about that. I can't free you today. You don't seem friendly anyway. Whew. That was a close call. Alright, what's down here? Do I... Do I just go off the edge of here? Yep, drop down. What the heck is that? It's like a monster and people following it. People, oh, it's like... um, A fiddler or something, you know? Playing the violin and people are being drawn to the music. I'm not sure which kinds of European folklores this game is based on. I don't know if it's like Scandinavian, potentially. I didn't do my research properly before I started playing it, but you can see actually there, it seemed to blow the people down. So the, that kind of um, musician drew them in and then it killed anyone that came to heed its call, so to speak. And now it looks kind of... Like it's commanding over everybody. It's like controlling their souls, maybe. Not sure. Just some on-the-spot theorizing there. Looks like we've got some light, though. We can head back out into the forest. This is better. This is much better. Oh, it is that music. Look, we're being drawn to it, just like in the images. So the monster is close by now. Oh, and there's the fiddler over there. Wait, what? Is she seen us? I think it's a woman. She's seen us, I think. I'm going to have to run. I'm not hanging about to hear the rest of her song. And this mud is really slow. Look at how we're just moving through. I love how it's actually got a trail behind us as we move through the mud as well. Like, the attention to detail in this game is off the scale. Look at those little guys as well just sitting on the rock. They're chilling. We've got a hand here. It's another one of those uh, gnomes, like the giant stone golems or whatever they are. Interesting. I don't like how the music's just stopped and it's gone really eerie and sinister now. I think we want to keep on top of the lily pads, right? Don't want to go in that water. Might drown. Okay, just keep going. Oh, wow, here she is. Or actually, it might be a guy with long hair. Ah! Whoa. I think it is a dude, maybe. I don't know. I don't care right now. Either way, guy or girl, we want to avoid them because they seem to be a threat to us. Oh. Just keep going. Just keep going. And go. All right, we made it. We made it, guys. We made it. Look at her, she's just, or him, I don't know, that thing is coming out of the ground, out of the water. And it's, it's gaining on us. You're doing very well, my little guy. Just keep going. Keep going, it's crawling, man, it can't even walk. This is insane. Jump. Okay, we made it, we made it. Go, go, go. Where do we go now? 
where do we go now, guys? Uh, this way, maybe? I'm just running in a straight line. Seems like the best uh, course of action here. We'll climb up here. I think we might have escaped it for now. We might be okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's back over there now, playing its music again. If it starts playing the music, though, do we follow it? Yeah, we have to hide behind these rocks as it plays the music. RB to sprint. Okay, sprint, sprint, sprint. Go, 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 go. Wow, okay, this is insane. Behind this rock as soon as we get up. Nice, we did it. I'm just going to wait, guys. I don't know if we can jump this. I don't think so. So we crouch, guys, like that. And then we run. Jump to this one and crouch behind this. And now we run to the next one. And we crouch. Okay, go, go, go. Quick. Okay, we're making it. We're doing well. We're doing well. There's a boulder there. Oh, do we have to move behind the boulders now? That's going to be hard. Yeah, we do. Now crouch behind this. Okay, I'm going to wait, guys. I'm not going to rush this. Okay, go. Behind the boulder. Nice. Now we run to the tree. And we hide. We wait for the next boulder. Now we go. And keep going. This is going well, guys. Wow, that was really close that time. Is it still going? I think we might be safe. LB to hide in the tall grass. Okay. Look at it. Okay, didn't see us. I'm going to go this way. Oh, we slid down. Look. Oh, man, we're in the water again. Why? Why do we have to be in the water again? I guess at least maybe we're away from that thing. That crazy musician. Let's climb out. You're okay. He's been through the ringer today, that's for sure. We still have our little glowy rock. That's good. Ooh, what is this? Do we have a note here? X. Ah, yeah, look. We can read this little book. Oh, maybe this gives us some lore. So, yeah, this is the character. He was a musician, a violinist, by the look of it. And then loads of guys beat him down and his wife or lover was like, oh no. And then it seems like he went mad and basically exacted his revenge on everybody in the village, creating this crazy music that uh, sent them all insane. Yeah, everybody in the village died. Maybe his... Uh, lover did as well. Then he took her out to the forest. And then he, yeah, and then he became this crazy mythical creature living in the forest that preyed on people with his music. Interesting. So it does tell us kind of like cryptically what the story is for the different monsters in this game, which is nice. Nice little touch there. So this is quite a long demo so far. You get quite a lot with it, which is nice. I think this demo is only available for the next few weeks, maybe, or the next week. It's just like a little Halloween demo. But the full game comes out next year, I think. And definitely we'll check it out if you guys want to see me play through the full thing. Across we go. What horrors lie in wait next? We're back outside, which is good. Ooh. We've got a rapid stream right now. Okay, he's back. He is back. We had to jump into the rapids. Oh, nice. I thought it was going to end there. We actually get to play this section. This is kind of like being at, you know, Disneyland on the river rapids or something, but obviously more dangerous. Ah! Okay, I died. I thought I just made that then. Right, so we want to go around this rock. There we go. And around this rock. 
Keep going. Whoa. Man, this is getting tough. You really have to navigate. Look, there's the waterfall. We can make it. Hopefully, he doesn't break his neck when he falls down the waterfall, though. He's like, ah! Wow, it got us. Okay, that's insane. That looks crazy. Hopefully, that thing dies and we survive. Oh, it's the end of the demo. I wanted to see what happens next. Well, I guess that's what a good demo does. It leaves you wanting more, right? And it definitely did that. But here we go. We're back on the main menu. Bramble the Mountain King. And it says continue, but I don't think we can. I think that's pretty much the end of the demo there. But that was Bramble the Mountain King, and I really enjoyed that. The visuals were amazing, and the sound was really good. Had a great soundtrack, you know, quite exciting soundtrack there as well. I did find some of the controls a little bit wonky, and some bits were a little frustrating trying to work out exactly what you're meant to do, but it's kind of one of those trial and error type games, just like Inside and Limbo were, where a lot of the time, first time you play it, you won't know exactly what you're meant to do or where to go. And then you work out and you learn from your mistakes. And I always like these kinds of games. They can be a little frustrating to begin with. But once it all clicks into place, they become really fun. So definitely looking forward to this. I like how I've tied in different aspects of folklore to it as well. You don't see that many games where you're playing as little characters in a big world. Outside of stuff like Little Nightmares, I suppose. And again, if you do want to see me play through the full game, just let me know in the comments section below. With that said, guys, if you did enjoy this video, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I will see you all on the next one.